is uh, Rashid Issa. They call me the gift. And I'm a bodybuilder, I am a fitness uh, trainer. I've been doing this uh, since uh, 20, uh, 2007, sorry. So it has been like a 14 years uh, journey. So my weekly routine is like, uh, I have to do legs on uh, Sunday. On Monday, I do chest. Then um, on Tuesday, I do my back workouts. Wednesday, I do hamstrings and uh, biceps. And uh, Thursday, it's usually a delts day. Then I wind up maybe on Friday with the cardio. I try to keep my diet as clean as possible. I try to stick to it. I try to be disciplined about what I take in on a daily basis. I have around uh, uh, four misters. Um, in 2014, I won Mr. Nakuru. In 2015, I won Mr. Nairobi. Uh, later that year, I won Mr. Kakamega. Then uh, 2016, I won Mr. Nairobi again. I won Mr. Kenya for the first time. And again, I retained my title as Mr. Kakamega. In 2017, we had one show, and I, it was a Mr. Kenya. I actually defended my title. After that, I took a break for four years and come back uh, this month on uh, 11. And again, I won Mr. 001. Yeah, so I have like, I've won like eight times. It takes a proper training. It takes a, a proper diet. It takes commitment. Uh, generally, you, you, you need to be disciplined eh, for you to achieve your goals. You know, discipline itself is uh, what you're supposed to be to be focused on. Because uh, if you are disciplined, you'll actually be consistent with your training, you'll be consistent with your diet, and any other thing that uh, requires you to achieve your goal. Uh, when you become a Mr. Kenya, or a Mr. Nairobi, and Mr. or let's say Mr. 001, uh, my responsibility is actually to, to mentor, to be a role model, to assist in nurturing uh, new talents so that uh, we make the fitness industry grow. We, we need to see uh, young talents grow. We need to see people earn from fitness. We need to see uh, people actually make a living from uh, bodybuilding. This is something that uh, has been neglected by the government or the Ministry of Sports. And my worst moment. Uh, sometimes back I was doing uh, walking lunges. I think most, so most of you guys know me out there as, uh, you know, I, I love walking lunges. So I was doing uh, bubble walking lunges with uh, 120 kgs. And when I, when I, when I started doing the, 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 the movement, on my first rep, I went down and uh, my knee couldn't support the weight. So I, I was down there for like a few seconds, let's say 10 seconds. Um, there was no one around to actually lift me up. So I actually thought of dropping the weight, but then I thought about it um, landing on my back. I collected myself and uh, actually I managed to, to stand up with the weight again and uh, did my, my, my set. So I think that was the moment I was, uh, I was feeling like I was in between getting a severe injury and uh, maybe, yeah, my life was at risk at that particular moment. What makes me want to go in the gym every morning is um, the people that I meet in the gym. You know, when you're working out and you're disciplined, and uh, people are actually giving you, are complimenting on, on you. People are actually, they are, they are, you inspire guys, you see. You meet people that want to be like you. You meet people that uh, you've motivated, that you've actually been uh, their role model and you're able to see them grow every day. These are actually guys that uh, do motivate us, or me personally, to, to keep on working out. Fitness Empire Gym. Uh, the gym was uh, opened or launched in 2007 and uh, I happened to be I happen to be in charge of the, 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 the trainers. We're actually doing uh, well. If you look around, you realize that we have, we are one of the best 
or the most equipped gym in the country. And uh, yeah, it has been like a home to me. I've, I've seen guys grow this idea. I try to motivate them. And actually it's because of these guys that uh, I've been, I was able to step back on stage. Because uh, these are guys that uh, I've been motivating. These are guys that have been training and I've been pushing some of them to, to actually uh, step on stage and compete. So when the time when I was invited for, for, to compete at uh, Mr. 001, I actually took that chance uh, to, to, to show these guys that, look, uh, whatever I've been pushing you to do, I can actually do it and achieve it. So these guys are like a family. They have supported me. They have been there for me uh, from the time we opened the gym, uh, during prep. And when I came back, uh, they gave me the best gift. You, yeah, you, you've talked about the, the picture at the entrance with that symbol of um, yeah, the gift. And uh, it's actually, it's, it's a nice place to be. I think this, uh, this is uh, the only gym that does support uh, uh, athletes. We do support our athletes. We do support our, especially the competitors, those who are doing competition. We also support our community. You know, you, uh, sometimes back, uh, we used to have so many, you know, criminal groups within our community, they silly. Most of you know that. But ever since we stepped here, uh, the level of crimes have gone down because most guys have actually joined the gym and uh, they are willing to change, they, you know, for the best. The other thing is that uh, our gym gives uh, separate men from women, right? So that gives the, our ladies an opportunity to work out comfortably, you know. My advice to those who want to join bodybuilding is that uh, it actually takes time and it needs, uh, it needs one to be patient. It doesn't happen in a day. Um, one thing I'll discourage uh, the, uh, the beginners uh, from is uh, the use of uh, drugs the use of steroids and uh, banned uh, substance. Actually, it's better to do it in, in a natural way. Just work out, do your meals, supplements if you can, but uh, keep off steroids and other stuff that might actually uh, harm your organs.